few words about this type of mohair. This is a premium Angora mohair. It has natural sheen, which you can use. You can use, of course, um, viscose hair. This is viscous. It looks a little bit similar to Tassa silk hair. It has a beautiful sheen to it. It glues very easily. It, it, you can really make beautiful designs. It's fantastic to use if you're planning to do some kind of um, a short hairdo is great. Uh, if you would like to do braiding, fantastic. Because doing braiding with uh, natural mohair can be a little bit tricky because it has a natural spring to it, so it'll be very difficult to hold in place. This, you can drape around her head the way you want it, and you can really manipulate it the way you like it. This type of hair, I use a lot. Viscose, use a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. Try viscose, you're gonna love it. Tibetan's lamb, beautiful type of hair, natural mohair, works very well on a doll. You can, it has a natural curl to it. You can straighten the, uh, straighten the hair, straighten the hair. Um, you know, it, it works. Works very well. Drapes beautifully. Also has a little bit of a natural sprint. So um, it takes a little bit of patience to work with that hair too. But it's gorgeous. Try it. It's beautiful. Um, another one more type of hair that I wanted to show you. There is uh, roving mohair. Roving mohair, very nice to work with as well. It doesn't have a curl. It's more of a strands like that. And it can come braided, so you just need to unbraid, uh, the, cut a piece of braid and unbraid it, and then you straighten it out with the, with the I did a, some work to this to make it look like this. Um, it came naturally in a braid, so it was really, really wavy. Uh, if you really don't want to do any type of work on the hair just to work on the doll's head, then you can buy this premium mohair. That's the most expensive mohair you can find. Um, because someone else did the work already. They dyed it, they combed it, they, um, they made sure that you have only uh, super you know, super clean, super beautiful parts. You don't have to do any work to separate that. Uh, you don't have to do any work to even uh, even out the uh, the wave a little bit because you can see this one. Nothing has been done to this. It's just natural. That's it. it just been cleaned. That's all it has. Uh, it has in it. You know, it just been. This is natural how it comes, but also the. The sheen to this one is just a little bit different. It doesn't really have too much sheen. This one does. It's a different type of uh, um, goat that, that's been used. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, this one, see, like, looks beautiful. I straightened out this. I actually have a piece to show you. This is braided mohair. It's a roving mohair braided doesn't have shine to it but it's a beautiful beautiful quality hair it's natural drapes very nicely uh glues very well you can make all kinds of hairdos with that so this is what it came in i purchased it a couple of years ago and it came in a braid like that so i just cut out the piece and of course because they're tight you can get from this a uh, little piece you can get triple as much hair length of hair so and it's going to be very wavy once you take it out originally and with water and a little bit of hair product very very lightly just very lightly applied not to make it sticky or anything I straighten it out so that's very nice to work with too and I have this little I tied it up in the little knots here so I have ready to go hair you can actually dye it that way and uh, dry it flat, so you can do whatever whatever you like with this. So try this braided mohair as well. I, I recommend that you try all kinds of hair and decide on whichever you like best. Considering why am I recommending for you to try different types of hair, because not always um, you might want to consider the experimental project with the doll, you not always want to spend a lot of money. Like for example, this mohair, it's quite expensive and I find that you don't really, if you find a good supplier, that's great. If you don't, uh, don't let it stop you from making a beautiful doll. So there's all types of 
pair that you can still use. There's roving. You just need to uh, know how to go about it, and there's different ways to go about it. Um, check out um, my other videos. So there is a Red Queen that I did recently. Um, there in the Red Queen, we're using um, viscose hair and a little bit of more hair. And, yeah, roving more hair and viscose hair. Um, it just it just for that type of doll it just drapes very nicely so you can you can glue it very well you can sew it you can do whatever you like here today we're going to be using this type of mohair that's natural mohair and gore premium mohair the most expensive mohair you can find okay